guys. Woo. When I tell y'all this video is going to be different than anything I've put up, I say that because y'all might hear me cussing, okay? Woo. If I hadn't needed Jesus just now, I would have dropped the F-bomb 20 times and my neighbors would have all been woke. Well, wouldn't have been able to go to bed. I'm sweating and I'm going to be sweating. Like I said, I might cuss. But I'm on a mission and now even more determined to get it done. The other day, I came home and the window unit wasn't cooling as well as it was. Granted, it was 102 degrees and the heat index was 106. So I took my YouTube learning into uh, account and cleaned out the window unit. It was disgusting and murky and gross and nasty, but I did it. And it wasn't until after the fact that I'm like, I could have vlogged it, you know, in case any of y'all ever needed to do the same thing. I oh, yes, I'm in my spot because I'm about to do some cleaning in here. Well, no sooner did I clean it, I let it dry, I plugged it in. That sucker is freezing me out of my room. It is like brand new, blowing nice and cold. No more issues, no more noise, no more kind of dirty water smell. It was a really disgusting job and I wasn't prepared for it. I went in just out of cabrones, just like out of God dang it, I'm going to get this done. I went in just boluda, just like I'm going to get it done. And that's usually when I work the best when I'm ticked off and it paid itself off. I'm going to be sweaty and nasty too, let me tell you. Uh, the reason I'm out of breath is because today I was going to do Little Dudes because Little Dudes is blowing really, really cold but not as powerful. Like with these window units be in a small space, you can feel them literally across the room like cold air. And this one is blowing really, really good cold air but not too far out. So I'm like, well, I'm going to clean up Little Dudes today. We just came back from the movies. I got him settled down with dinner. <laughs> is that an ant? If it's an ant, okay. If it's a spider, I can't deal. I'm hoping there's not a nest of something in here, but if there was, it's probably uh, all discombobulated now because the reason I'm out of breath is I went to t take it out of his uh, window unit and it fell out. It literally was falling down the roof and I grabbed the cord at the last minute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't pull this cord out because then I'm just gonna have to buy another window unit, which I could do anyway, but I was raised, if you can fix it, try and fix it. If you can salvage it, try and salvage it. And it's a perfectly good unit blowing perfectly good cold air out. I just needed to have a little more oomph to it. And I think the uh, the so wheel in it, the blower wheel is probably caked in muck and grossness like mine was. So I hope I didn't damage it by holding on to it for dear life with the cord. And I thought <laughs> maybe it'll balance itself on the roof just long enough where I can go get the camera and show y'all what I'm dealing with tonight. But no, I didn't let it go. I just kind of called down a little dude to um, uh, basically be a witness in case I fell head first out the upstairs window. But I got it in. And I'm about to pull it apart and clean it. And I hope I didn't damage it from the window to the uh, little roof outside of Little Dude's window. I hope I didn't damage it. Uh, and pulling the cord, I hope I didn't damage it. I'm going to check that before anything. But I thought you guys might want to see what a single mama does when things go awry. And she got a little get her done in her. Because I got some get her done in me. I'm going to be sweaty. Like I said, I might cuss. This is very, very hard on the hands and the fingers. I've already broken some nails. I was going to put on gloves because of the muck and disgustingness that's in there. But I can't work well with gloves on. I am going to put a Band-Aid over my Hannibal Lecter that I do to myself just in case. I have wipes and sanitation things. Uh, the cleanup afterward is the worst. I did put a tarp down this time because, man, I can't stand the smell of bleach. But because I don't know what that black and mucky stuff was in it. I use a lot of bleach to clean up the floor. Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it was that I came home in that mood where I was going to get it done. But got my Jurassic World on here and we're going to get started. As usual, nothing goes right in Casa Perez. I took all the screws off the entire housing so I could take off this little cage. And one friggin' stripped screw prevented me from just popping this off 
in ease okay but whatever you know what it's not gonna stop me i cussed it out i killed some more ants let me show you the disgusting reality of a window unit these are leaves and mush and who knows what else from the rain this is mold and mildew from you know air conditioner doing what it's doing this is the flywheel this is what is packed and disgusting things and i know please people don't cringe because i don't have gloves on trust me i bleach literally bleach and soap my hands when i'm done i've already cut my finger another time so i'm very conscious of grossness but i did this the other day and i didn't have any weird inflammation or anything so this is what i need to clean now what i'm gonna do is pull this little foam thing out which would be so much easier if the cage were off but i'm gonna need my free hands to maneuver hold the cage back here so i can pull the little foamy thing i spray the foamy thing down with bleach and hot water and then i clean that up as much as i can and then i can't remove the flywheel because i'm not mechanical like that so what i do is i go in with q-tips and clean out all that funk in there. Y'all see that? Clean out all that funk. And that is what's weighing down the air not coming out. Because that, that wheel is just really, really gross. And when I took out this part. Look at this. This is what's blowing in the air. So this pops off. Then you can wash it. And then you can wash the fins. But that's what I'm doing. And this stupid screw just wasted 35, 40 minutes. But, oh, mama found a way. Okay. I'm on to let you guys see how disgusting this truly is. Do y'all see that? All of that is what was impeding good airflow. And I hope that wasn't in our lungs killing us slowly. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's mold, black mold, white mold, mildew. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't affect my breathing. It doesn't hurt my eyes. It doesn't affect my sinuses. So I'm thinking it's just mold and mildew and disgustingness. The fan is fine. The wheel is congested. So I'm going to take a q-tip and clean out each fin and then I end up with a pile of this cottage cheese looking crap down here and then I clean it out now this should be done outside with a water hose so you can use the pressure from the water hose to clean all this stuff out but I could not get it downstairs I haven't been able to get it downstairs uh, and I was scared to try it even though this one almost ended up downstairs by itself anyway when it fell out the window uh but because I had to remove the housing in such a half butt way uh, I have to, you know, maneuver myself a little bit around all that. I did cut myself for a second time. Uh, I have to clean the foam housing that goes around the wheel, the little fins. Uh, these need cleaning. That's the front. Needs a good cleaning. Uh, and it looks very, very tedious. And it is. The last air conditioner took me two hours. I'm soaking wet in sweat. I've already cussed out this air conditioner and the ants that came out of it. No more ants, thank goodness. No bees or wasps or anything. Um, so when this is all cleaned up, I'm going to snap everything back, put all the screws back in, minus that demon screw that wouldn't come out. And I'm going to kind of... Oh, what happened? I cut myself peanut on this thing. And then I'm going to put it back in the window. I let it dry for a little while in case there's any condensation. This one has been off for many hours, so there's not a lot of condensation. But just to be on the lucky side, YouTube says be sure everything is dry. Then I'll plug it in. And little dude is going to have a freezing cold room, aren't you? What'd you get today? It's chapter two. Okay. We're going to get out of here from all this nasty black stuff here because I'm not sure what it is. Hello, honey bunny. Oh, goodness. Look. Look. Ants everywhere. Ants every friggin' where. They are mad at me. They are mad at me. Anywho, let me get back to this, guys. And then hopefully this one works as well as the one in my bedroom. Q-tips. That box of Q-tips is going in the garbage because I've manhandled it. This box right here. I've manhandled it so much that, yeah, it's going away. And then the cleanup after. Goodness gracious, guys. The cleanup after. But you know what? It's worth it if my little dude is even more comfortable than he already is now. So we'll see what happens. So now while they're still stained and gross, you see... That the majority of that gunk that was actually keeping any air from coming through, you can actually see my fingers now, is gone. There's a little bolt in there. If I could reach my hand in there, I would remove that, take the flywheel off, bleach it, and put it back. But I don't want to press my luck, so I'm just going to run a warm, hot towel with bleach and soap over the wheel. What I'm doing right now, though, is going across the fins, just with tissue paper. 
just in up and down direction just to get any little dust that's on the fins. There's not a lot because the filter was on, but the filter is downstairs because when it took a plummet off uh, the window, the filter slid out, so I got to go find that in the dark. But uh, I'm cleaning off these fins. Some of them are a little damaged. Um, I might try and straighten those out. I don't know. Probably not. But this is clean. I wish I could get in there real good. I'm scared of sticking my hand too far deep in there with a soapy rag because I don't want to get it stuck. But it is what it is, and it's coming together. I still need to wash these two, and then I'll put it together. So I'll see you guys back together. Yes. I'm using any tool that I have. I loved this knife. Now that's going in the garbage because I don't know what's up. And this is going in the garbage because I don't know what's up in this air conditioner. But I'll see y'all when I put it together. It's back on. It is blowing clear across the room all the way to his pillows. Those are all stuffies. So it reaches all the way back there. And I think he's going to be quite comfortable in here. I had to kind of gutter tape down there because it didn't fit as flush as I had it before. Uh, but I did need to leave the tilt so it'll drain right. I don't know. It just didn't fit completely 100% the way it did before. So I had to do a little gutter and seal it, the edges with tape because we don't want craters in here. But I was going to go get the filter downstairs and put it in there. Right now it's running without a filter. But it's coming up on bat season in my neighborhood. And I'm not trying to be out there and be a midnight snack for Count Dracula. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Uh, but I'm about to go bleach down the bathroom, take a shower. And then I may as well come back on and show you guys a little bit of whatever I picked up at Walmart. I didn't pick up hardly anything, but I did want to talk to y'all about uh, my situation prior to my just saying I'm going to bite the bullet and do this myself. So a little chit-chat coming up. Talk to you guys in just a little bit. What I wanted to say about part of what motivated me to get this done was it needed to be done but also because I was in my grown woman feelings like I have people who are willing to help me awesome people that are willing to help me but I don't like to bother people and Tina is one of my awesomest friends who is always willing to help uh, she and her husband are always willing to help so Tina if you're watching I, I, I had it handled, so don't get mad at me for not calling for help. But, you know, I had it handled. But I do have awesome friends that are willing to help, and I have my brother who is willing to help. Uh, but some things I'm just going to do on my own, you know. But um, as I was fixing, cleaning the air conditioner, I was thinking about two friends in particular, male friends in my life, who so obviously will come and help on an ultimatum. I'm like, dudes, I've been single for 10 years, okay? Ain't never needed nobody to come help me. And the fact that you all <sighs> offer the help with, then maybe we could go out for dinner after. And I'm not up for no games. And I know that we've never talked about stuff like this before. But that's what I was thinking as I was, you know, doing this. Like, I very easily could have had them help. But then it comes with a price, you know, and I'm just like, that irks me. That irks me so bad. Like, like, and it's not all men. It's the men I tend to befriend that, that seem to, yes, kitty cat, that seem to, um, try and, 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 and do a favor for somebody with all this smooth talk and all this lovey dovey bull it's not, you know, trying to set up some stuff and it just irks me. So that was motivation enough for me as well to get it done myself. All I needed help for was uh, getting the unit downstairs so I could use the water hose. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to go out and do anything with anybody who helps me. But we can delve into all of that in another video, um, my single life and, and where I stand on relationships and all that. But I don't know if that makes sense to any of you out there, but I was just like, it's just so irksome that if I needed help immediately from one of these guys, it comes with an ultimatum. It's just like, whatever, you know, it shouldn't be that way. But anywho, let me show you guys what I picked up at Walmart real quick. I don't know where this came from. Can I help you? Look who's here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm so tired, you guys. I just realized I hadn't had dinner. 
Look at this. He's been washed and he's so nejo. Nejo means... I don't know what nejo translates into English, but look at all the sun damage, guys, and all the scars. And Excuse me. My skin... Okay, I was going to show y'all lying here with my tired self when I picked up at Walmart and this cat is climbing all over me. Move your Heinekens. Move your Heine. Okay. Pet Cemetery, the original. Not the original. I don't know. I think there's the new one, this one, and then one before this one. But this is the one I like. This is the one from the 80s. Finally found it again at Walmart for $5, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Oh my goodness, Fuzz Bucket. This kitty cat, I swear here in my mouth creep show 2 you guys how many of y'all indulged in this in the hbo days back in the day what is with this cat i got creep show 2 creep show the original oh these were so awesome they used to play them on hbo over and over and over again in the summertime and these were all five bucks and i've been looking for these so i was so happy to get them I finally picked up a scale. I was going to get the digital one, but when the little batteries run out, it seems like every time I've ever gotten one of those and I replace the batteries, it never works again. So I got just the regular little manual one, and we had needed one because I'm monitoring little dude's weight, as you all know. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This was only $7 and some cents. Oh, I picked up some waxes just because the house can't stink. This is Adventure Seeker, which I'm not, but it smells really, really nice. This is Woodland Frost. Little dude really liked this one. I grabbed that one. So lovely. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so hungry, guys. Chilly autumn evening. And, um, you want to say hello, Fuzz Bucket? That's everything. Man, have y'all seen the CVS commercials where they put the people's faces under that camera and it shows all their sun damage and stuff like that i don't even need the camera that's messed up but anywho i swear this kitty he's getting ready for bed and truth be told you guys as hungry as i am no no biscuits on my double chin that hurts as as tired as i am i could easily fall asleep but then i'll wake up in a few hours hungry it's two in the morning guys hey the pretty kitty it's two in the morning and we are about to go to bed. I'm going to watch a creep show, though. So. Hey, are pretty kitty. I'm going to watch a creep show and see if little dude wants to watch creep show. I can't remember if there's a lot of cuss words or boobies and butts in it. I'm not sure. So maybe we'll just watch something kid-friendly. But anywho, let me see if he wants to say goodnight because I'm pooped. Are you trying to sleep with me? No. Because your room is nice and ice cold now? Anywho. This is us saying sweet dreams and goodnight. Uh-oh. <coughs> Uh-oh. Maybe I did kick up. Oh, God bless you. Maybe I did kick up some mess. Huh? You feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, until the next go-round. Thank you. I, I think he's going to try and be sneaky and sleep in here with me. He and the cat interloped yesterday and slept with me. But anywho, until the next go-round, thank you guys for watching. Love y'all bunches. Good night. <laughs> no. Oh, crossy crosses. You're going to give me nightmares.